welcome back to our live stream. Sorry there's been a delay. There's been some health things going on, and I feel great. So I figure we're going to get this thing going. All right. If anybody has any questions, you could ask them in whatever chat platform. I am lucky enough to have the streaming all over the world in a couple different social media formats. So if you're on Facebook, YouTube, if you're on my Twitch channel, please remember that you subscribe to support me and this channel so we could keep this group going, get some more people in here, get some cool questions and practice ideas and stuff like that. All right, hopefully my audio is working perfectly this time. The last time we had a little bit of a hiccup and I think we fixed it, but just uh, you could never be too cautious with that. All right, so for today, I figured maybe we would do some easier stuff with pentatonics. A lot of people enjoy pentatonic based melodies and licks and stuff like that on the guitar. I do too, and it's one of the things that are really useful to practice in a couple different ways. For one, you could get some cool stuff happening with sets of two for picking, and uh, we'll get. I guess we'll get into it. There's no reason to talk about it if we're going to do it. So if you guys, again, if you have any comments, questions, please just type in there. So let me know uh, that you're here. Steve, the moderator, should be active. Um, if not, and we will type a hello world right there so everybody sees that it's happening and it should type it on every format to make sure it's working there we go all right steve what's up all right so when we start this up here i'm going to um i'm going to start without a metronome we're just going to take things nice and easy and show you what a pentatonic is in case you haven't done one before uh i know that that's a possibility some people don't know everything uh nobody really does i'm trying to make sure am i in focus good yeah, that's not too bad. All right, so we're going to get right down to it. Here is the pentatonic minor, pentatonic major, pentatonic major, pentatonic minor, whatever, pentatonic scale. And this is actually three different major scales, possibly, but we don't know which one. Uh, we're going to assume it's the G major scale because that's usually how this stuff works. Not always, but that could be an option. Uh, the other good option would be that it was the D major scale but we don't know for sure. It could also be the C major scale. However, that's very unlikely for pentatonics to be based on a Phrygian tonal center. And if you don't know what that means, my microphone volume, um, I never had to adjust it. Let me see. I could move the mic closer to my face. All right, how's that? Maybe I sit closer to the mic some days. Is that any better? I don't want the mic in the frame either. It might be a little bit weird looking. Or how about this? Maybe I direct the mic towards me a little bit better. Let's get it out of the frame like a professional setup here. Let's go back, make sure it's still out of the frame in all views. It's a little bit in my face. There we go. All right. Uh, is my mic, my mic any better? It's better. I could... I could turn up maybe let me let me see I don't know if I have much of an option for that to be honest it's up pretty loud oh you know what I could do I could remember that I have to turn up my main output does this help I don't want to make it too loud though is that better without cranking you guys out of here okay sorry thank you gamma by the way everybody um, I'd like to meet gamma he is an amazing musician he's in here to uh, evaluate my performance. All right, so here we go. We're going to, we're going to put up my noise gate a little bit because that's been happening. It's driving me kind of nuts. And it seems like I was in focus better back there. So bear with me here for a second. I'm going to refocus. Right about maybe there. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, that's, that's a little bit better, because I don't want to have to stand way back here to be in focus. That's kind of ridiculous, you know what I'm saying? All right, actually, I'm still out of focus. Hang on. Stupid thing. Let's do this. See how that works? Now. There we go. And we're back. So, sorry, this I know that's not a very professional way to be doing this. However, uh... I had it set and then I had to move around and I had to change my chair because I've been having a knee problem lately. So anyway, this is your um, G major or D major or C major scale. Again, we don't know which one because we're missing two of the notes. Depending on which two notes you put in there, 
you will get a different major scale. But it doesn't matter because the pentatonics sound great on their own. It's a nice arpeggio. Actually, a lot of people might consider it a minor 7 out of 11 arp. If you wanted, just here. That's the pentatonic right there. All right, so um, this is, this is going to be uh, some pretty cool stuff here. But again, remember, if you have a question ask if you have a chance to subscribe or like or share whatever you, whatever you can do on the social media please do so do so i forget sometimes to tell people that and i know that you guys watching definitely forget because i do when i'm watching people uh you're just in you're involved in whatever we're doing okay so to start off here let's start off with this major minor whatever you want to call it pentatonic um we're going to do this in the 12th fret for now <laughs> In fact, maybe I should maybe I should I should switch this up to a new pentatonic option here. Hang on, let me see what we got. Maybe we'll switch it up. Let's do uh, what do we got here. Let's do this one. I'd rather this one. So here it goes. It's going to switch magically. Wait to see. There you go. It already switched. Okay. So now. Yeah, yeah, this this guitar is awesome. So now we are using the C major scale or the G major scale or the F major scale. Again, we don't know. So we're gonna I'm gonna just tell you it doesn't matter. We're gonna play the A minor pentatonic anyway. So it's easier for everybody to see what I'm doing, and I don't like open positions. So we're gonna go here. now you could play slow and get a lot out of this because you're gonna start memorizing the notes because they sound awesome so if you go like this there's your first note you go up a minor third you play the four the five minor seven one you repeat two or sorry minor third rather there's no two in this one four minor or five then the minor seven then our one again minor third so all right anyway so let's get down to business here first of all i should probably do a nice warm-up because i haven't done a warm-up in a while and uh to do a warm-up what we're going to work on here is uh -oh, i'm getting some kind of messages let me check this really quick i'm sure it's super duper important during my stream Oh, it is. My uh, my phone is telling me that Alan Van Wert is doing a live stream right now on Twitch. Okay. Well, duh. All right. Anyway, so if we're going to go through this thing, sorry for the long wait for actually getting down to business. This is ridiculously long. Uh, my apologies. We're going to go through this pentatonic, and I'm going to use a metronome or a drum beat. Let's actually use a drum beat. Let's see if we could find And it might be embarrassing for a person on the internet. But if they suck at drums, so be it. Let's let's search for um, all right. Twenty minute backing track. I don't know who this guy is. Sounds like garbage. That's, that's okay. That's my so so we're gonna go. You didn't even try to mix that. So we're gonna go. Now we're not gonna do Zeppelin, let's just go up. Or. All right, now that's too slow for me, um, even for warm up. So I'm gonna do triplets. One, two, one, two. Really easy. You can play along. If you have trouble, figure out where your issues are. If you can't pick all the notes, go. Just pick once per string and hammer on pull off if you have to. So right 
right now we're doing the fifth fret to the eighth fret on the low E, the fifth fret to the seventh fret on the A string, D string, G string, oops, the B string and high E are five to eight. Those frets. All right, now I'm gonna speed it up again. Another subdivision set up. We'll go. It's more of a test for myself to see where I'm at with my warm up, but. Now we can do a blended um, subdivision like... Now what I'm doing there is I'm going to back step. So I go up, three, back one, like that. All right, so we're gonna go... Do it again from the A string. So if you count it out, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. You could even do that instead of backside clean just once, do it twice. You could go. Just improvise however many. Um, so for my own practice purposes, I would, hey, Juno, what's up? I would also go and maybe take a little bit of this. Now, we're not going to do this yet. Um, what we will do in this particular case is go to the next segment here. If I can remember what that was, it should be this one here where we would shift. Now you can see close up what I'm playing if it helps. Um, also, if I move in the right section, you can see my picking. So in this particular case, I'm going to isolate two strings. All right, we're just going to go. Yeah, this is a Kemper, and I'm using, um, it's the John Petrucci sort of Mesa Boogie sound. Anyway, I do have to warm up a little bit. So let's isolate this. Just two strings. And let me slow it down for everybody at home. So we're gonna go. Just like this. Now when you're this slow, this is really good practice. You wanna focus on things. Focus on playing with the perfect technique that you want later on. So very small amounts of motion with your fretting fingers. With your pick, you barely wanna move your pick. All right, so let's speed that up. Try to keep your fingers nice and close to the frets. That's tough. Mental confusion there. I 
don't think their name is Kemper, Steve. Unless it is, I didn't see who entered. Yes, welcome to Stricken. Next two strings. Tempo there, so all right, that's pretty good. Now let's reverse her motion. We'll start with the higher notes, like this. So it's gonna be pinky and ring fingers first. pentatonic says they sound nice and easy on the ears you can adapt you can hear it like when i play something you go oh i, I see what's going on all right so now let's try let's go back to our main view here just to be a little bit more fun now let's try this um let's go up and down let's ascend and come back down that's a, that's a fun way to do it but first if i'm getting sore you guys might be so a little bit of uh, a little bit of a stretch is important hey jack what's up what's up what do i see on the screen are those mushrooms or houses what is it I'm kind of far away from the chat. <laughs> Let me see here. Other oh, houses. Okay, cool. I was getting a little bit concerned for a second there. Alright, so let's. Pitch <laughs> harmonic, never heard. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, so. Slow this down. Back to reality. Okay, so. Sorry, I went nuts. I think Jem spelled with a J in this particular case, but yeah, you're right, this is fun. Two. I go slow for sure. something different here. Let's do string skipping. I'm going to throw a phrase at you that's going to kill. But first. But first. Let's let's have a little bit of a... T hang on, hang on, hang on. I know, I know you guys get sick of the drumming probably too. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take... I hit the wrong damn button and I did it again. We're going to take a T break. And I know I still have this weird graphic that looks a little bit silly. Um... What are you drinking today? That's the question. And as I typed it, I just blocked your reply. So hang on, let me see what's going on here. My screen got messed up. All right. You guys didn't answer. What are you drinking? You got. You need to drink. You need to stay hydrated so you don't have, end up in the woods passed out, feeling like you're having a heart attack or whatever happened to me the other day. I'm having... No surprise, Bigelow Sweet Dreams Tea. Uh, speaking of which, my first album that I put out for guitar, for myself anyway, my only album for me that I put out so far, um, or under my own name, there is a song called Sweet Dreams on it that is very nice. And I studied a little bit of, I guess you could say maybe the psychology or the pathology of sleep patterns. Rum and Coke. There you go. That was they, I used to drink a lot of those when I was younger. That was kind of cool, actually. Michael Olson, welcome to the live chat here. How, what's up? Yeah, I see you're on the YouTube too. Um, I've I've been mo mostly on YouTube my whole life, I guess. For as far as the internet goes, you probably knew that part. As far as you're drinking two gallons of water for real. You like the tea break? All right, cool. Well, you need, yeah, you need to take, you need to take a break. But gamma, here's the problem: the tea looks like it's for old ladies or something. I don't know why. The graphic that's on here does not fit with me. Like it looks like, why is this old lady teaching guitar now? It doesn't really match. So, but it's important to have tea. You have to hydrate. Again, you don't want to wake up in the woods half out of it thinking, oh my god, what what did I do? You know what I mean? Well, you might not know what I mean, but trust me on that one. Trust me on that one. Now, this is a 90 beats per minute loop. I don't know if it's fast enough for me, to be honest. <clears throat> it might not be. But, you know what? It works. It works. So, now we're going to do string skipping. 
let me show you the phrase before I put on the, the beat. Oh, by the way, when we're doing this, I'll give you guys a little glimpse. Oh, I warped through my screens. There's the there's the scale set we're using, kinda. For the, I'm doing a little bit of blues too, but uh, that's generally what we're doing. Yeah, what's her name? Taya. Hey Taya, I'm Alan. Well, you might have known, you might have heard this, by the way, since I'm obviously on my own channel here. But hello, Taya. How are you doing? Um, are you playing and practicing guitar? If not, you should be in the future. You'll, you'll probably be on one because guitar is fun or piano. I actually I like the sound of piano a lot. I just I'm not so good at that. But guitar is awesome. We could do these. You do some cool stuff. All right, so let me think about this. All right, so we have our we have our thing on here. Now I'm going to show you the sequence. It's going to go something like, and let me see if I get the right button. Okay, something like this. We're going to go. Okay, so let me see if I know what I'm doing. Actually, maybe I should show this as a non-skip first. All right, so if we're doing it on adjacent strings, that's what we're doing. Seven, five. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Steve. So we have seven, five, eight, five, eight, five. So it's down, 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 back up one, down, down. It's a little bit of a finger twister. All right, I know you guys hate that noise. For some reason, my guitar, the new wiring has something weird going on where I'm getting a ton of buzz. I think it's wired in a way where it makes it sound more like a signal coil. But we're going to have, have to look at that, I guess. But uh, anyway, so let me go back to the drum beat here. So we have some... Fr this is a real drummer, but I like to practice sometimes to a real drummer because when they fluctuate, you got to kind of do it too. All right, so, so let's... to do an extra one. I can't really fit that many. So now, the same idea, same like, but we're going to skip a string. So we're going to pretend there's no string in between two of them. That's all. So if we went... And I like doing the sorts of... Sort of stuff. The hard part here is keep, keeping your muting clean. So session three work well. I 
think I messed up there. Let's start slower here. Let's try the skip extra wide now. All right, so now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna give an extra skip. So it's gonna be like this. Hard to keep those clean. Oops, I waved Sorry, bump my way in there. Next one. Alright, that's tough. That's tough. So let's take a minute here to stop this uh, drummer annoyance guy here. And we'll take another moment for some more tea. This time, I'm going to cheat. And I'm going to have some water because I am kind of getting sweaty a little bit. So stretch out your hand, fingers, whatever. Tay can also stretch. You want to go stretch like that. And then your arms like that. You kind of want to torque your wrist around a little bit so you get your forearm fixed up there. You can do it this way. Here, let me show you. That's the end of tea time for the second. Let's do it. All right, so you can do it this way. That's a good stretch a little bit. And then, of course, the opposite, where you pull it back. Don't go too crazy. And you stretch by pushing your arm down for a little bit of resistance. And then the thumb. My thumb cramps up a lot. So I like to pull it back this way. I wish I could get a fake thumb and make it look like I quick ripped it off. You guys would be like horrified. All right, so then the other side, same thing. And also this up in here for some certain things, chords or whatever. Oh wow, that tendon's really active. Look at that, look at my middle finger. My tendon makes it move like that's That's the one I guess that does that. So my middle finger must've gotten worked out or the ring finger or something. All right, so I know that I ripped through these things extremely fast. It's mostly a strength endurance thing because I need to get back into the, um, a little bit of the shred guitar playing. It's not always musical to play that fast, so keep in mind it's a little bit ridiculous, but it's more of a practice tool. And then later on... You can kind of take it easy, you know? All right, cool. By the way, thanks everybody for following the channel. Specifically, um, I'm brand new on Twitch. I haven't been on there more than a couple of weeks, I don't think. Something like that. So if you could, anybody who's not even on Twitch, if you could possibly jump over to there uh, and hit the follow thing. That way, if I get over a certain amount, then they'll notice that I'm a channel. Otherwise, it's like just kind of secret or something over there, which is weird. I don't know the exact cutoff or what's the most important, but I just I definitely need more people. That's what I'm saying. So if anybody's watching and you're enjoying it, that's awesome. Thank you for stopping in. And if you if you get a chance to try to do that Twitch thing, even if you don't go on Twitch, it, it probably it would help regardless, I guess, because it shows that somebody's watching me. I don't know how it registers because I'm on three different things at once. Anyway, again, if you have any questions, pretty much about anything. Ask them. I'm used to answering questions all the time. I'll give you a cool answer. And uh, comments, or if you had a request of some sort, or you're wondering what I'm doing or how I'm doing something, just ask it. I'm, I'm very easygoing. I'm probably one of the most revealing and open musicians. <laughs> probably a little bit too revealing. I had somebody steal a bunch of my licks once and claim they're his, kind of. Actually, that happened more than once with different people, but 
Maybe I'm too nice, but anyway, it's fine. It happens, I guess. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna work on one of my licks that I, I used to do a lot. And I think this is a pretty cool thing just for practice. Um, I don't know what speed this drummer's gonna allow me to get subdivision-wise. I could probably go a little bit quicker. Hey, Jazz, what's up? I am doing pretty well. I, I had some weird health things going on lately, but the past couple of days, the past two or three days, I feel a lot better because I found out that being vegan might have been kind of killing me a little bit. I was vegan, and then I switched. I started eating a little bit of pizza, vegetarian. And then uh, I, my blood pressure was, like, up too high. And I know I don't want to get all, all this on here, but I was having some health uh, scares and weird things going on. And very bad brain fog. Like, almost every single day I'd have panic attacks, br like the brain fog where I felt like I was confused or in a dream or depersonalization where I didn't know what the hell was going on. That's, and that scares the hell out of me. I don't like that. A little bit at all. Not, not that I hate that. So that was happening to me a lot, like the past couple months actually. And I was doing everything I can. I was exercising, doing the yoga, which helped. By the way, yoga even through that helps amazingly. It's that good. So the yoga, uh, going on walks, elliptical, a little bit of weight uh, stuff, um, resistance bands, exercise, diet. And the problem was I didn't really look into the diet the right way. I, d I was not receiving enough protein to survive. Uh, or probably a couple other things. I know salt was probably extra low because not only the pills, but I didn't have, like, I didn't eat salt. You know, I just avoided it. Uh, same thing with a couple other nutrients. So I've been, I've been great lately because I started eating some chicken two days ago. It's been over a year and four months, I think, five months. I don't know. It's been a while. But I just started eating chicken like two days ago and a little bit of slices of turkey, uh, some egg, and... Uh, within a day, I started feeling like a little bit better, and my blood pressure went down a lot. In fact, I might not eat any pills soon, which is weird. So maybe the veganism was actually a big problem for me. I, it's different for everybody, you know. If if I have a feeling, I'm like 300 pounds, you know, I'm a big guy. Uh, I'm a fat human. So what happens is I need extra everything. I need water. I need extra carbs. I need extra protein just to be a normal human functioning. That's the way it works. Also, I have a gigantic brain my head's huge my brain fills it and i need extra nutrients for the brain or else i fall over and stuff so that's part that's part of it now if i was like 100 pounds i could probably be vegan forever you know i'd, I'd probably be fine because they could eat 30 almonds and survive I, I can't do those things unfortunately that'd be awesome i've tried for a very long time i thought i was doing everything nice but uh, just a little warning out there. Be careful with nutrition, especially when you get older and you have to take blood pressure pills that might screw it up even more, which I think actually compounded it. If I didn't have blood pressure problems, maybe I could do the vegan thing longer. But it's all, all in all, it's like I was not healthy. Whatever I was doing was killing me, I think. All right, so back to the, uh, back to the thing. Actually, I should probably take another drink. Let's do our little, little tea drinks here. While well, I'm talking, I should probably do this more often. By the way, anybody know who Latte Larry is? Does Jazz Jones have any idea? And how have you been doing yourself? Good? Anything new on the horizon yet, lately? I'm wondering what everybody does out there lately, because, like, where a lot of people are still stuck in. Not totally stuck in, I shouldn't say that. But a lot of people are, are not, like, really out and about as much as we used to be. So I have a feeling everybody's learning new things. Some people learn to bake bread, basket weaving, all this weird stuff. I started doing yoga, which I actually do. It's hard, but I enjoy it. It reminds me of my old martial arts uh, kata forms a lot. They're, si they're really similar, actually. Uh, except for it's very slow, which, by the way, oddly enough, the, the whole mentality behind the yoga stuff and the way you do things slow and controlled while breathing normally, which is really hard, deep breathing while you're doing those things. I do the same thing for years now on guitar for my practice, and I don't think anybody believes um, that it works. Because I've, I've explained it, and people don't do it. As far as I know, they don't do it. And I try to tell them slow motion practice is the ultimate way to, to get better, uh, nice and slow. And I'll give you an example of that. Um, for instance, if you're going to do something, like, like here, I'll give you a lick. If we're going to go... 
Let's do the one I was going to show you. Um... So if you're going to practice that in slow motion, it'd be more like... Now right there, there's a mistake. Here's what it was. Watch my index finger. If I go... Watch the index. And I'll, I'll do the woodshed thing so you can see my index better though. Hang on. So uh, watch this finger. All right, right here. Watch this. Right here. That's no good. We don't want that, and we don't want it to wait so long. We want... Sorry. It should be, as soon as I hit this note, that finger should be getting ready. So. up with a drummer see what happens switch it up let's do that lick I was doing like a few weeks ago that I like so Double in a slower tempo to get it clean. It's a little too fast for this guy. Let's do a slow stoner rock. 63 beats per. Let me see if we can subdivide this guy. 
again.
Uh, I'm sorry, I just de degenerated this into me jamming. Um, that was not my intention. However, this is probably the jam portion, yeah, we're almost at an hour. Probably gonna cut it short, guys. I'm getting real hot in the, down in this room or something, like I'm gonna die, so. I don't like this heat going on here. Oh, I forgot. The tea drink, so. What the hell ever. You know what I'm talking? Maybe I should do some robot tapping before I go. Sound like a maniac. Let's do it. Pretty interesting. Oh, you guys can see that. Hang on, hang on. Let's go to our standardized view. How's everybody doing? You guys, did you leave me? Are you like, screw this guy? He's playing too fast on the damn guitar. And I hate it. Is any of that going through your mind? Is it too much? Too many notes? Is it annoyance? An annoyance? You let me know. I don't know who's watching all together here. I can't really tell. Exactly what I'm doing. We got a few. Oh, you're still there. Cool. Any questions, comments, concerns? I'm concerned that um, this seat's very uncomfortable. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so let me let me find some kind of a cool backing track to jam over here. Um. Uh, shred backing track. Let's type those words and see what the hell happens. This is going to be interesting. No idea what this is. Well, we're going to start off with a, a sus fourth distance here. to make this backing track doesn't understand how mixes work way too much mid-range instrumentation for a lead to play over it um, they could have knocked some of the EQ down there for us <laughs> let's try uh, let's try emotional shred oh this is the same guy hopefully this isn't an issue here again we're start out with a sus the nine Let's do our licks we worked on today.
Am I too quiet? I have this feeling the back is louder than me. Let me change up my tone anyway. Let's, let's do a closer. <laughs> That's a hell of a lot of echo. All right, let's try this now. This is not too bad of a backing idea.
fade out. That's a nice back. Actually, I like that one. That one was pretty cool. You guys, you want me to get off of here? Or did you want one more song? What do you think? What is this crazy song? Space Rock. Barrier. 
messed up a couple notes there, but... Hey Gilbert, what's up? Too. I like whatever that is. Here's this one I did a couple days ago. Let me do this with like a different tone. Though. It'll be Eric Johnson for a minute.
pretty cool, but it's a little maybe it's a little bit too driven. Hey Taylor, what's up? Taylor's really good at guitar. I think uh, you guys remember last time I was mentioning. Really good. Okay, let's let's have some fun. We're gonna do this <laughs> same one. I'm sorry, I do these things all the time. I like these. the wrong key, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Ryan. What's up, Ryan? Okay, I am going to... I'll do one of the... You know what? That other one that we did earlier was kind of cool. Let me go back to that slow one. That was really nice. Was it this one? I think it was this one. Yeah, this, this one was actually kind of cool. It's in a weird key, though.
tired. I'm messing up. I'm messing up too many times on these ideas here. Let's see what this last one, the mellow backing track, it says. This guy's got some cool stuff. Let's see.
Oh, you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I love that the Sean Lane use of the whammy is the best. Request before I head out here. We did the like the practice little warm up thing earlier, and I'm just kind of jamming around. I look at random backing tracks on the internet and hit them. <sighs> what is this epic backing? Let's see if about let's see about epic. There's this guy jam. Thank you, Gamma. Sorry. 
pretty cool, a little bit stagnant. Rise up, rise up. You guys, you guys like that song? Do uh, how does that start? It's like uh, uh what the hell key was that in? I just did it. British side of Georgia, trying to keep the colonies in line. You could keep all of Georgia, Theodosia, she's mine. Love doesn't discriminate between the sinners and the saints. It takes and it takes and it takes, and we keep loving anyway. We rise and we fall, and we break, and we make our mistakes. And if there's a reason I'm by your side, so many will try. I'm willing to wait for it. I'm willing to wait for it. I can't remember my I'm messing up my chords. Hey, Dr. Certifiable. What's up? questions uh oh wait a minute wait a minute wait 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 who who's this berserk land studios he's doing this is old school all right so hang on hang on that requires something if i could find it oh no wait wait Forgot my song again. Oh, there you go. The Yahoo chat for guitars is the coolest thing ever. I see it again. Jesus, it's only been what? 25 years? I gotta warm up a little bit more before I do that stuff, but. Sixteen? Oh, that's not too long. Um, by the way, we're gonna have some tea. Don't, don't, pr please, don't make fun of my horrible tea graphic, because I don't know what I was doing with. I thought it was gonna be nice, but uh huh. <laughs> so yeah, doing this. <laughs> on this stuff, I guess it's been too many years. Ago. the tea thing. Oh, 
Oh, cool, Ryan. You're welcome. Oh, by the way, uh, if you're still, you're probably really good at picking by now, but if you're looking for any other picking advice, ultimatepicking.com. Anybody who wants uh, to advance your picking, I made this picking program thing. Uh, it's like an app, or you could do it on the run on the computer. It's actually a web browser version, but I didn't release that part of it. Yet. I'll be doing that soon, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, ultimatepicking.com to advance picking speed using artificial intelligence. Because I used to do computer programming, I did a little bit of it to make this uh, thing happen. I worked on it like really hard for a couple of years, maybe five years or something. I've still been working on the updates. Anyway, if you're looking for picking, I'm not on here to try to sell stuff, to be honest, but I just, you reminded me when you said my, my lesson book from way back. Uh, Robot's tech, uh, technical guitar book was, dude, I don't even remember, maybe 2000, it was probably right after my album, so 2006-ish maybe, I can't remember. Uh-oh, hang on, my battery died, I gotta, I gotta switch my battery out. Hang on, guys. It'll just be a second. I have no fear. The other battery's here. Um, although I probably bumped my camera. There we are. All right. Sorry if I'm if I'm on this battery for like two hours and. It can't take it. It's a really nice camera. However, the battery life... Actually, it's a great battery life for a DSLR, but it doesn't last as long as forever. But yeah, Robot's technical guitar was wild. Also, guys, um, I'm really, really needing some kind of a boost over on Twitch. If you could go to the Twitch version of this, um, whenever, someday, after, or whatever you're done on here, to hit follow on there, it'd be awesome. I'd appreciate it because I have to get up to a certain number of followers before it recognized me on the Twitch thing. And that'd be cool because then I'd probably get more people in their comments too. But god damn, it's been so it's been so long with a lot of you guys. I miss if we could somehow recreate a little bit of the Yahoo chat room we used to have years ago. It was so much fun. By the way, everybody, say hello to the moderator, Steve. Um his well, that's his actual name. His uh forget about it is his internet name on here. He's the uh, chat technician, because he knows what he's doing a little bit more um, than I am, what, what, what I'm doing on my end. But anyway, any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. Remember when people used to think I was fake? As soon as they started hearing the... As soon as that stuff went on, they are like, that's a MIDI file. Then again, that was really bad internet connection back in Yahoo days, so they probably even did sound extra, extra digital. My name on Twitch is Guitar Lesson. Actually, you know what? Let me give you guys a link so you can find it. Um, hang on, t Jesus, why can't I do this? There we go. As you can see me actually typing, it's kind of stupid, but anyway, there, there it is. Before I go, I'll give you guys one extra exercise. Now, this guitar tone won't work right because you can't hear my face. Let's go to a normal tone, like a rock and roll tone. All right, this is, this is a rhythm guitar tone, but uh, it demonstrates pretty well what I was going to try to show. Um, so as far as the picking, hang on. Let's move this down just a touch. Sorry, I hope I didn't make you dizzy. Um, we'll get this microphone out of the way. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm planning on going on Twitch uh, every day. Or maybe five days a week, depending on how it works out. The thing is, I have to... Oh, thank you so much. I have to figure out how to um, set that all up still. Oh, I just realized something, guys. Uh, hang on. I forgot my alert box. 
we would have had a cool sound effect, but whatever, we missed. That's okay. All right, so anyway, what I was going to show you here, if I could switch my proper camera, my woodshed, I think is four. All right, so when I do this, you could kind of see me close up a little bit. Um, the picking that I'm doing is ridiculously quick um, because of how I do it. So basically, if you want to practice your picking... So what I'm doing there, let's give you one example. Let's do the Yngwie Malmö scene. That, uh, but we'll do it down here. So we're going to go... So I'm going down, up, up. I'm not going... This is what Ingvay does. He does twice. He goes... Thanks, Steve. That's Ingvay. It's a little bit messy because you get an extra noise, an extra pick. But we want... So basically you want to do you want to do what he's doing with the two like this two on each and get used to that and then just remove the second pick on the bottom it's, it could take some time you have to work on it slow and perfect it but that's how i could do this uh, string crossing No problem. Oh, Yo, you're welcome. You too. This is actually a lot of fun for me. I'm just trying to situate um, what you guys want out of it besides me. And initially, this was just going to be me. By the way, here, I'll show my embarrassing key screen. This was just going to be me practicing guitar, and then anybody in the world could watch me practice live. So you could see what somebody who's been on the guitar a long time actually works on when they need to do something. I thought it'd be cool insight. So I started there, and then everybody started requesting me to play backing track like jam over them and to do different things and then like sometimes i'll get like a little bit of a lesson thing i'm doing on here but i don't know anymore i don't know as long as we have a fun time i guess that's that's kind of cool i did want to get practice in so i'm going to try to work more practice into it too and you guys can practice along that's the whole point so if you were to back this up later on i know there's a long thing on, on here right now but if you go back to the beginning <laughs> I was doing some practice and like these exercises. Things like that. And then we went. Seems like I'm getting worse as I practice today. What the hell? I'm probably getting tired, but. Yeah, my hands, I can feel my hands getting a little bit st sticky. You know how it slows down? I'm probably needing a, a little bit of a break. Um, yeah, guys, this is awesome. I'm glad everybody stopped in. I don't even know how long I've been running this, but it's probably way over the time I planned. Actually, yeah, it's like an hour, 40, <laughs> hour 47 minutes almost. So I got to calm down and relax. And thank everybody for stopping in. It's nice seeing you guys. Uh, I guess I do have to go upstairs now. I, I Actually, I was going to go on the elliptical to do some more exercise today but i just realized yeah it's past midnight it's almost 1 a.m so i'm probably gonna go upstairs now and hang out on like video games or some slow down but i'm honestly you can see i'm sweating a little bit because i practiced the guitar fast so when i'm running when i'm like going uh that stuff it's you could tell you start to sweat a lot so here's what we will do let's go to that nice mellow backing that we had earlier if I could find, if I could find it nope I lost it I lost it okay so hang on it, let's this emotional shred backing one was really cool 
if I could find it again. If I could find it, then I'll jam one more time. Is this the one? This isn't the one. That ain't it. But, I guess I should call it quits anyway. I was going to play you guys out like that, uh, what's his name? I'll play, I'll play a little bit, and then I'll end it. Let's see, let's see what this rock backing track C-sharp minor is. I have no idea. We'll do some echo.
sorry. I got stupid for the kind of... I wanted to do something dumb, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Taylor's mom. How you doing? Hello. Thanks for checking out the guitar and joining us here. This is fun. Oh, that ends really abruptly. Just like all the Legends lives that we've lost. Very sad how that works out. All right, guys. I guess that's... I, gotta, I don't like stopping this because I have so much fun, especially when everybody's in here, like, chatting and... Um, Agent Hawk. Oh, you were getting... Yeah, okay, okay. So you're going... I, I was going to play it, actually. I was thinking about it, and I probably would have figured it out quick enough. You know what that reminds me of? Wait, how's that go? I can't remember now. It's a... It's a... Switch these strings. Challenging to do. Pop in and say thanks for the uh, which autograph. Oh, the lesson. Turn it up. Okay, okay. Um, turn it up. Jesus Christ, that was a lot. So. Oh, dude, that, yeah, that autograph, that's one of the coolest solos, is it? How is that? Yeah, I, I honestly forgot it. That was one of the coolest uh, solos. In fact, I think that during that time, that was ranked the number one solo that year in the guitar magazines. It was pretty good. It, re it really was. It's a catchy, melodic, hard-to-play solo. That, that one... That little country six thing they did there, for some reason, I always mess my fingers up. It's nice. Yeah, it's really, really cool. You know what? It reminds me a little bit of, um, uh, what the hell? From Poison. Their guitarist, composer, what the hell is his name? I can't remember his name. He was awesome. Uh, really good melodies, he wrote. Mmm. Uh, Vito Brada. Probably one of the most underrated or forgotten for some reason. He was an excellent composer for uh, White Lion. No, not Nikki Six. Um, the guitar lead guitarist was. Uh, why the hell can I remember his name? I know him. Like I'm, I'm being an idiot right now. I'm sorry. I feel like a jerk because I totally know the guy. <laughs> like I can't think of the name. Um, I'm, I'm getting tired. I'm sorry. That it happens. It totally is. But I'm glad to be alive. I'm glad we're on here chit-chatting and all that stuff. I, I'm, I'm happy. Oh, by the way, if you guys uh, have any suggestions for my videos on here that I'm doing now live, uh, this what we're watching now, this live stream thing, uh, as far as uh, lighting, overlay graphics, if you have better ideas, let me know. Yeah, Poison had really... C.C. DeVille, thank you, yeah. Awesome, catchy solos. Like, people make fun and say, oh, he's not that great 
or he wasn't great at guitar or whatever, it doesn't matter. Because you remember the, um... What is it? I'm in the wrong key, I'm sorry. I can't remember. I have to, I'd have to run through the whole thing. Um, but yeah, he, he had some killer melodies. I, I can't remember what the hell my key was for all that. But yeah, I got to head out, guys. So thank you again for stopping in. And I will uh, see you soon. Remember, please hit the subscribe so you don't forget. And all those buttons, which you probably guys, most of you probably are, already are. If not, if you're new, welcome to our group. Thank you, Glass Orange, for uh, following everything. This is going to be awesome. Oh, thank you. I'm glad. Also, audio. Uh, I'm using not my best mic. I'm using a, an okay um, large diaphragm condenser. Now, I do have a really, really good one from, from Rode. Their best mic, I believe it is, actually. Uh, the thing about that is I'm afraid to use it because I don't want the humidity to get to it. It's getting kind of humid down here today. I don't want extra noise, so I deadened my room completely. I have my audio, or my computer, two rooms away, so it's dead silent in here. It's, that's why you'll get like a more relaxed feeling. I want it to be, I don't want a hissing noise in the background. I want it to be nice and relaxed. But good night, everybody. Thanks again to Steve for, for doing a good job here, moderating, and make sure everybody's welcome and figuring out what's going on, um, and tech support for everything. It's, it's awesome. Uh, hopefully I'll see you guys again maybe soon, maybe really soon tomorrow or something. And also, if you guys have a suggestion for a time, if this isn't too late, this actually might work for me sometimes. I like I like staying up late anyway. So maybe we could do this. It's kind of cool. I like, it's like the late night group. We're sneaky. We're all the cool uh, people late, late. I think the most creative, fun people stay up late anyway. At least that seems to be the case um, that I've ever seen. So, all right. Love everybody. Be safe out there and practice and have fun. All right, I'm out.